Hi, this is Teresa Wagger with Coastal Waters Creative, and today we're continuing our intro to WordPress training, and we are going to be starting on search engine optimization. So we want to be adding on-page search engine optimization. There's lots of things that Google looks for, but one of the things that you can easily control is what you put onto your page or onto your post that gives Google hints and clues and meets their standards for what they're looking for to be able to easily share it with other people. So let's help them do that. And we, what we're going to be doing is creating our snippet that Google uses and Bing and other people use as well. And this is what I mean by that, the, where it's, you have a title here and then you have a, you have your URL or the, or the uh, address. And then you have a couple sentences. It's up to, I think, 153 word characters that you could have. So you can control that. So let's do that. Let's get control of what we can on our page and help Google and our readers know more quickly what's in this latest post to meet their needs. So let's go to a post. So here I have a post. It has not been published yet. You can see I have a title. We have, we have some um, images. We have a video, lots of stuff in this. Okay, so we're going to scroll down and we're going to use something called the WordPress SEO by Yoast. You can see that right here, WordPress SEO by Yoast. This is a plugin and I'm assuming you know how to put a plugin because we've taught that before. So just do a search in the uh, WordPress catalog for WordPress SEO by Yoast and install it, install it and this is what you'll get. Now let's look at our list of what we're going to be looking at. So we're using that WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin and we're going to do a few things. We're going to choose a keyword focus. We're going to write an SEO title. We're going to include a meta description that's less than 156 characters. Yes, we got to get that number <laughs> plus or minus a couple, uh, but less than. And then we're going to save our draft so we can check it. And then we'll review our page analysis for additional changes that we can make to the page to get a green light from uh, Yoast plugin. So let's go back. Now, I love this plugin because it will tell me if I've done enough or at least some of the critical things for on-page SEO. It is not necessary to do all of them, but it's good to do as many as you can. So let's start with our keyword focus. I have getting started by logging into WordPress and I'm going to say our pro it's going to be logging into WordPress. Now you, you can see how nice they are to give us some suggestions. So um, it's always best to have more than one word for your keyword. Those long keywords are always helpful. You can see we could use some of these we wanted to but that's I, I'm gonna stick with what we got okay you can always see things changing you can see this popped up here with some how often that keyword is used now depending on how you've had the setup your search engine optimization title down here may or may not be what you want um, I like it a little bit longer so I'm gonna put getting started I'm going to put a colon instead. Logging in, logging into WordPress. And now we want to add a meta description. Now this is a couple sentences, less than uh, 156 characters that describes what you, what you think would entice people to come to your page quicker when they read glance at those two sentences but they should also include that the keyword phrase or the focus keyword in the meta description because one of the things as you can see here it says meta description no so we want that to say yes so we could say the hardest step is getting started step is the first one let's get started with WordPress 
by logging logging into WordPress for the very first time. So we got about 37 characters left. Um, there's no penalty for going over with the meta the in your meta description. It just won't show. So you'll just get little dots. Okay, so now we see meta description says yes. Okay, so we have added our meta description, added our SEO title, added our, added our focus keyword. So let's scroll back up here. We're going to hit click on save draft. I'd like you to keep an eye on this SEO right there. It says SEO is now okay. Well, it's yellow. And yellow is okay. But I don't want just yellow. I'd like it to be green. So let's go scroll down. Back to our plugin area here. So you can see we 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 see this. We see content is no. So somewhere in our content would be a good idea to have the words logging into WordPress. But let's click on this page analysis here. Wow. Now this tells us a lot of really good information. We can start at the bottom and work our way up. You can see there's four things that we're doing well. We've got our keyword phrase. We've never used this word before, so that's good. Our meta description contains the phrase. Our copy score for easy, easy, easy reading or reading ease is fairly easy to read, and I rarely get that. I usually get difficult. So now there's a list of, I'm going to look at the yellow ones first because those should be easy to fix. The meta description is under 120 characters. However, up to 150 is better. So they're telling us that we really need to add a little bit more to the meta description. The page title contains the keywords, but it doesn't appear at the beginning. So that's something we could change. Page title contains 39 characters, which is less than the recommended minimum of 40. So maybe we can add a space, maybe we can add um, another word. There's no outbound links on this page. So let's start with the things we can control and that the first one is the meta description. So let's go back and add hardest hardest step in website in promoting your website there is the first one there we go so now we're within the the range there scroll up and hit save draft Get green yet? Nope, still yellow. So let's go down here and look. Let's look at some of the other things. The images on this page do not have an alt tag containing the keyword phrase. That's an easy one. Very easy one. So here's our picture. And I want to say logging into WordPress. So I click on my picture, click on edit. It is essential to have alt text on every image. So make sure you do. That makes a big difference. And it's even better if you have your keyword logging into WordPress. How to begin by, there we go. So we click update. Okay, and we're going to click Save Draft. Okay. Ah, we're still yellow. Okay, let's go back down and see what else we can do. After you get better at this, you'll be able to do them all. You'll be able to find you do them correctly more often. This is a key one. This is one that's hard to beat. It says there are 149 words contained in the body copy. This is below the 300 word recommended minimum. Actually, Google even likes more than that. It likes 1,000 or 1,500 if you can. But you need to have at least 300. And this one really stops us from getting a green light. It's probably one of the biggest ways not to get a green light. Um, 
I've not used an, any H2 subheadings in my in my copy. I can go back and do that. Um, they only found it one time in the copy. So let's see if we can use H2 and put some links somewhere else. So I did use H2. Oh, it's not in. Oh, see, I did use a couple. Oh, I didn't put it into. These are things to get ready. How about now begin logging in to WordPress. So we'll just put a little subheading before our, our lovely video here and we'll make it an H2 heading. Now you may be tempted to use H1. If you are using WordPress, this guy right here, this title is always an H1 tag and Google only will allow one H1 tag per page. So that's why they, that's why the Yoast plugin is looking for H2 tags instead. Now the other thing we're looking for is um, a link. So let's make this to wordpress.org. So we can see, make that a link to wordpress.org. So it's an outside link. Add link. Okay, let's do one more try here. Yay, it's green. Yes. So while there are still things that we could have done better to improve this, there we do now have a green light now, and this blog post is ready to be published. So, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I get excited every time I see that green light. <laughs> Sometimes it's little things. So we've done our five things here, and we now have a green light. This is Teresa Wagger with Coastal Waters Creative. And today we learned about search engine optimization on the page using the WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.